Shouda must feed the addiction. Actually, the new handy cam came in, so I figured let's take it for a spin. So plaid sofa time. Although I think this will probably be my last Ashens parody for quite some time because. I'm really kind of running out of stuff to make fun of here. I don't want to start making fun of cheap electronic stuff the way he does, because that's his thing. Plus, the uh, the cheap electronic stuff around here isn't as tacky as the stuff he gets. Not even close. I've looked in various cheap stuff stores. I'm going to have to start looking in consignment shops, yard sales, and flea markets to find anything even close to as cheesy as the stuff he makes fun of in his videos. So I think I'll stick to food, and there's plenty of cheap food to be had around here. Now, in case you've been living under the biggest rock in the world, we had a bit of a hurricane last week here in New England. And uh, basically what that means is, before the hurricane, I bought a ton of crackers in case the lights were out, were out for a week. The lights weren't out for anywhere close to a week. So I got a ton of crackers that I have to use up. So I figured, what better way to use up a bunch of old crackers than with some good old-fashioned New England clam chowder? So I went looking for the cheapest clam chowder I could find, and Ocean State Java Lot totally delivered. Behold, Old Cape Cod New England clam chowder. $1.70 a can, and I'm about to find out why. Now, I can already see one thing very, very wrong with this clam chowder. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. Favorites. Those of you that, uh... I, it's always interesting that to see folks try to make stuff look local and stuff, and then do something like this. Favorites? Are you kidding me? This is New England we're talking about here. We're not part of the Commonwealth. We don't spell that word with a U. Ah, things aren't looking good already. You gotta wonder about a brand that's trying to make things look like, ooh, nice New England clam chowder. Only real clams use in this chowder. And then they spell favorites like we're across the pond. Okay, uh, let's quit gawking at the label and see what we've got to work with here. 98% fat-free, see side panel for nutrition information. Typical clam chow, ooh, salt bomb, 28% per serving, 28% uh, daily sodium per serving, and three and a half servings per can, so another salt bomb. Ingredients, clams, clam juice, potatoes, unbleached, wheat flour, modified, blah, 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 natural flavorings, distributed by... Old Cape Cod Foods, a division of Cane's Foods, LP, Ayer, Massachusetts, product of USA. So, this actually is a somewhat local distributor of this stuff. Um, anyways, ooh, New England type of, let's see what we got on the label here. Our New England clam chowder is unique and delicious chowder. First, there's no MSG, chemical, chemical preservatives, or artificial flavorings. And second, it's true New England clam chowder. Fresh shucked clams in a mild and creamy clam broth with potatoes and a hint of celery and onion. It's not a thick potato stew and doesn't leave a chemical aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah, how many times have I had so-called clam chowder that turned out to be cream of potato soup? It would be good if this actually had a significant amount of clams in it, but at $1.70 a can with seafood prices these days? Nah. All our ingredients blend together to give you the quality, wholesome goodness and taste you can only make at home. Old Cape Cod, a true New England clam chowder. It is, however, one of those condensed things where you have to add a can of milk. So I'm already in trouble because I don't have any extra milk around. I'm going to have to try this again with milk some other time. But let's try and cheese ball the recipe with one can of water and see how awful it is. <laughs> I'm totally going to mess this up. Ah, okie dokie. So what are the microwave instructions just for the heck of it? Oh, there are no microwave instructions. Empty into a saucepan. <laughs> Oh, this can't be good. Uh, condensed clam chowder that you need to add a can of milk to that I that doesn't have microwave directions. Oh man, what am I in for? <laughs> Let's try not to botch this up any more than necessary. <laughs> Well, the microwave has done as much as it can, but I really think I've ruined this. So what hath job lot wrought on us? <laughs> oh, oh, brother. It looks like clam porridge. Not the usual clam chowdery type stuff that I'm used to here. Yeah. Oops. This is probably why this stuff was so cheap, because milk is kind of pricey. So these, these chowders where you don't have to add milk, of course they're going to cost more. 
Uh, so I wonder where the, if there's any cost saving at all if I if I wind up having to buy milk alongside all this these cans of this stuff that I've gotten. So well, now that we've made this clam chowder into clam porridge. What does it taste like? Anything at least remotely edible? Oh, there's a big piece of clam. That's something I usually don't see in these things. Nah. Hmm. It's edible, but I really screwed it up by not putting milk in. Well, anyways, the reason we got why we got this was to use up a bunch of old crackers. So I'll try and salvage this with some crackers and. What does it taste like with some crackers mixed into it? Because no chow is complete without some kind of cracker, so it's not as soupy. At least if you get the really cheap stuff that's like the polar opposite of this stuff, it's... Usually a lot of times you get, like like I said, cream of potato soup, but this time it's like the exact opposite. This stuff is so condensed that it was it's stuck like glue to the inside of the can. I actually had to spoon it out. And it wasn't like that cheap stuff, that cheap canned stuff you get where it all comes out in one giant can-shaped chunk either. This is really getting gross, isn't it? But with crackers, but no milk. Embarrassing. Totally embarrassing. This would be decent if I actually had some milk around. But because I totally forgot that Condensed chowder requires milk in order to make it at least kind of look like chowder instead of this ugly brownish clam porridge. I totally messed up what should be the easiest thing for me as a New Englander to make, especially canned in the microwave. Anyways, I'm going to go off and sob about my horrendous cooking skills in the corner for a bit, and maybe some other time I'll actually get this right. Till next time, this is Multimedia J reminding you, if it says condensed on the can, buy some milk! <sighs> Thanks for stopping by, folks, and I do apologize for this travesty to what should normally be a New England culinary delicacy classic masterpiece whatever. <sighs> this is Multimedia J signing off. How the heck could I mess this up so much? Ah! Epic Fear!